Did you know that caregivers suffer from depression at twice the rate as the general population? Without the support of family, friends, and professional services, a caregiver's depression risk increases drastically. In this video, we will review the causes of caregiver depression and the strategies to overcome it. Caregivers range from professional to volunteer, with the most common type being the family caregiver, which is someone who takes care of a family member without pay. Caregiver depression, which is our topic for today, increases when there is a lack of support. Not everyone who provides care experiences the negative feelings that go with depression. However, since caregivers often sacrifice their own needs, physically and emotionally, they are putting a strain on themselves. Sometimes while striving to provide the best care for someone else, feelings of anger, anxiety, sadness, isolation, and depression often occur. Mental health concerns are real. Ignoring, denying, or trying to suck it up does not make your feelings go away. Since everyone experiences depression in different ways, it's important to pay attention to symptoms to prevent major deep depression over time. Major depression is significantly more than just feeling sad, unhappy, or moody. It interferes with everyday life. It's a mood disorder in which feelings of sadness, loss, frustration, or anger for an extended time and requires a doctor's supervision. Compared to non-caregivers, the following caregivers are up to two times more likely to experience symptoms of depression. Family caregivers caring for a parent. Family caregivers providing care for more than five hours a day. Those tending to a loved one with disruptive behavior. Those dealing with personality disorders caused by neurological conditions. Someone having frequent conflict with the healthcare team. Lack of social and emotional support. And those providing care to their spouses are six times more likely to experience depression. A family caregiver suffering from major depression will experience at least five of the following for at least a two week period depressed mood or loss of interest or pleasure in most daily activities, significant change in weight or a change in appetite, trouble sleeping or excessive sleeping, feeling tired and a lack of energy, feelings of hopelessness and helplessness, feelings of worthlessness, self-hate and inappropriate guilt, feelings of low self-esteem, sudden outbreaks of anger, difficulty in thinking, concentrating and making decisions, and recurring thoughts of death or suicide. The primary types of depression that determine how you should be treated include major depression. This could last as long as six months, but if five or more of those things we listed last for longer than two weeks. Minor depression, that's if less than five of those symptoms are present for more than two weeks. Dysthymia, a chronic, generally milder form of depression that lasts longer, sometimes as long as two years. Atypical depression, Depression accompanied by unusual symptoms like hallucinations or delusions, bipolar disorder. In this condition, mood cycle between mania and depression. That covers causes and types. Now let's discuss strategies to overcoming depression. As we get ready to list these, pause and take a deep breath. And understand that you can prevent what you are experiencing from being worse or be the light that someone else is needing in this dark time of their life. Start today by making time for yourself or by stepping in to allow someone else to have that time that is needed. Here are some strategies to help you beat depression. Most caregivers experience a depression that is primarily brought on by exhaustion or feelings of loss. However, depression can have a biological component that may require medication to treat. Here are some strategies to help you beat depression so that you are your most healthy self and you can provide great care for someone else. You make time for yourself, whether it's the first thing, middle of the day, or the last thing you do before you fall asleep. Engage in an activity, read, rest, walk, exercise, do an activity, and have social contact with others. Daily, you should strive to take time for your health. Think as positive as you can. You are a priority. When you are putting your health first, you have to understand how to pace yourself. So prioritize, set realistic goals, focus and strive to accomplish something every day. Do what you can when you can. It's very easy to get overwhelmed and feel like you are drowning. When you feel that way, prioritize asking for help. Help. Please ask for help. 
You are not imposing. People are willing to help. They may have offered in the past or may need to be asked, but take them up on it. Solo caregiving is the quickest route to burnout and depression. You need time away. Your health depends on it. Hire someone and or use respite services. Respite care can provide you with a scheduled period of relief. You can arrange for respite care to last for a couple days or just a couple hours. Let people help you get professional guidance. Studies prove that counseling along with antidepressant medication provides the quickest and most longest lasting relief for chronic depression symptoms. Do not stop there. While getting outside support, socially connect with professional associations, hospitals, senior service organizations and religious groups, friends, neighbors, family, and support groups. Support groups are a safe place to share feelings and gain support learn practical information, and just connect and relate with people who are going through the same frustrations as you. We hope you now feel more educated on caregiver depression and can identify the signs and know the preventions and treatments for yourself and others. Caregivers are the emotional, physical, and mental support for someone who cannot perform in those areas on their own. We want to encourage you to let you know that you are not alone. We would love to send you a prayer cloth today to let you know that we are praying with you and we believe in you. Philippians 4, 6 and 7 says, Do not be worried or anxious about anything. Pray. In every situation, pray and petition. With thanksgiving, present your request to God. God will bless you with peace that no one can completely understand. This peace will control how you think and feel when Christ is at the center of your life. We have an entire series of caregiver videos for you to learn from, including our latest video and our whole series playlist. So be sure to check back for more content as we continue to add to this playlist. On this channel, Love, Joy, and Chaos, we provide content for caregivers that educates and encourages. Thank you for liking the video, sharing it, and clicking subscribe.